So, sir, my first question is about uh, what is your prediction of the series? Uh, well, India is leading right now, but uh, who do you think will emerge triumphant in the ongoing series? Um, so, Nishad, at the beginning of this uh, tournament, um, I had mentioned that um, this young Indian side will not only compete, but I think they'll come on top against um, the Australian side. And I stick with my views even now. Although in the last match, Australia managed to stage a comeback, but I still feel that the hunger and the desire to do well um, seems to be more loaded in India's favour. Because number one, they have a young side, they have a new captain, and and most of these players, or in fact all the players, want to prove themselves at this level. And the best thing to do is, um, is to perform well against um, a top quality side like Australia. Oh, yes, right. So, one uh, another question, the next question from me is, uh, how do you rate Surya Kumar Yadav's captaincy so far in the series? He's uh, captain in the side. How do you look him uh, to be a captain in the future as well? Um, still early days for him, but I think um, he has the experience to uh, back himself. Um, he has led uh, Mumbai on a number of occasions in both red ball and white ball cricket. So, one can see that he's very calm, very soothing on the field. Uh, with his players, and I think that's a that's a hallmark of um, of an emerging leader. Uh, it is a new dimension altogether. The dynamics changes when you um, when you graduate from a state level captaincy to an in, to a national team captaincy, and I think Surya will take some more time. And there are um, so much of learning for him, and uh, whatever one has seen uh, in the first three games, it seems that he's um, he's aware of uh, of his role as a captain. Um, and 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 it, it it has reflected so far in the performances that he has put in. I think um, for a captain, it's very important to understand right at the beginning, Nisha, that uh, um, you are there in the side as a captain basically because you have done well in in your primary skill, which is which is his batting. So my only advice to Surya would be do not neglect your batting because he's such an instrumental player. And whatever, as I mentioned, whatever I've seen so far in the first three matches, um, it's good to see him uh, continue in the same vein. As he did as a batter when he was uh, he was in the eleven uh, only as a player. Right, right. So uh, both teams are right now playing in absence of their first choice players. So from the Australian side, who do you think are the players who can make it big in the international stage at, in the future? Oh, well, most of these players um, have been with this T20 side for um, for a couple of seasons now. Uh, one can always, I mean, Travis Head is is one player who has emerged. As um, as such a successful player for Australia, um, you know, and if you go, if you look at the, the some of the youngsters who have done well, Josh English is another player that comes to my mind, and I think the Indian selectors, along with the with the team management, would be looking at um, you know these three four players who can take them forward. Nathan Ellis is another impressive uh, right arm pace bowler um, who understands um, how to uh, bowl in, in in white ball cricket, and I think in years to come. He will be a very useful um, player for for Australia. So there are these three four players who I feel can take the Australian team forward in years to come. Okay, and uh, my another question is: uh, Rinku Singh played a brilliant finishing knock in the second T20 Twenty. So do you think India can groom him as a finisher in the future to take that? Role? They have already yes, Nisha. They have already trying to do that, and I think that is why um, they have they have slotted um, Rinku Singh as a finisher. Uh, and he has done admirably well, not only um, while batting first, but more importantly, um, uh, while chasing a target. And I think um, that is why the Indian selectors, along with the team management, they want to support him. There are some tough challenges coming up, especially the South African uh, series. I think that will be a big test for Rinku Singh because the conditions are going to be so different. Uh, so he'll have to adapt. But, but I think um, Rinku has this, um, this ability um, to use whatever experience he has gained um, from the domestic circuit. He's been part of the UP side in all the formats for a number of years now. And all that experience has come in handy so far. And I'm sure that going forward, even against South Africa, uh, one can see him perform uh, well for um, for India. Although, as I said, the test will be uh, will be quite different. But yes, he does have the right kind of ability. And more importantly, for uh, there are certain traits which I can which I see in uh, Rinku Singh. Number one, he remains very calm. Number two, I think his game awareness is very high. Um, number three, um, he not only can play the big shot, but also ro can rotate the strike. Um, and, I, and I think one has, he, has, he has also done that on slow surfaces, which is very demanding. So I think um, these, all these, uh, these qualities or these features in Rinko Singh's batting and his ability 
uh, bodes very well for uh, the Indian side. Okay, sir. And my one final question is, uh, the current India-Australia series is, has been streaming on Geo Cinema in 11 languages. So how do you think this additional language offerings is adding to the viewer's experience? This is brilliant, isn't it, Nishad? I mean, I'm really enjoying this. And um, whenever I, um, I catch up with some of the fans or some of, um, some of my friends, all of them are uh, so excited to, um, to watch their favorite sport um, in, their, in their mother tongue. It all started during the IPL season. And I think it's a huge hit. And it, it, it brings in a different flair altogether. It has, um, and I think all languages have the ability to, um, to understand the game. And then we have the talent to explain that to the viewers. Um, and I sincerely feel that, um, that all the language, all the 11 languages that one has seen so far, um, they deserve the, the amount of respect which, um, uh, which, which, which Geo has, has shown by bringing all these um, 11 languages on the table. And I also feel, Nishad, that going forward, digital is is, is the way um, that will take um, take cricket to in, in different dimension altogether. To make it more reachable, I think it is very important that we have um, this kind of a platform for so many languages. Um, so yeah, I think it's a brilliant initiative. Right, right. It's adding to the viewers' experience. Yes, so, it's, it's 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 terrific because you know I mean I, I remember those days when people would would um, would have those adda in in Bengali or or um, or sit in these um, tea shops and discuss cricket. I think that's what they can see now. They can they can see it happening in um, on their on, on on digital network in their in their own language. So there is there is I think the the relatability factor has improved so much. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's it. Those were my questions. Mm. Okay.